Good afternoon. Welcome back. It's Amanda and I thought I would share with you my Aldi haul today. It's the first time I've had a um, good solid grocery haul in a while. Um, I went there to pick up a few items I needed to continue making my pizza sauce but um, I ended up replacing several items that I've already used and um, I got another one to replace it. So anyway, I'll show you the prices and what I got. I ended up spending, after taxes on all this, um, $89, we'll say $90. That's kind of a lot, but I got some really high-end items, but yet, really, they're not high-end items. I thought the prices were really good for all this. It ended up being like 62 items, so it was like a dollar, $2 a piece, not bad, less than $2 a piece. About buck fifty a piece per item if you're going to average it into the... Um, Final cost, but let me go ahead and show you what I got. And you guys, you leave a comment below if you have an Aldi and tell me what your prices are. I'm in Southeastern North Carolina. Um, my grocery stores are beautifully stocked. There's no shortage of anything. I'm not seeing prices rise in anything, it, um, except um, I'll show you one or two things I have noticed, but the prices, the, what it's risen to really isn't all that bad. So I'll go ahead and start right here. I got these 8550 lean hamburger pat, 15% hamburger patties, which is the really good stuff, 100% pure beef, three pounds. It was $9.35. It used to be $9.95. It's gone down a few pennies, which is good. I got these big packs or two pounds of macaroni and cheese for $1.09. That's basically 55 cents a pound, which I thought was really good. I got two packs of biscuits, which I used for my husband's lunch. Um, they were 95 cents a piece. I got two four-pound bags of sugar. Y'all remember when they used to be five pounds? Anyway, those were $1.85 a piece. I got two of the sour cream real dips. They were 99 cents each. If you haven't tried this, it's really good, especially on plain fry um, chips. I picked up two of these roast turkey breasts, the cured ones. They were 50% off. Normally $3.65. It was, ended up being like $1.80 per pack. I just got two to throw in the freezer. These are good for salads. Um, two cans of evaporated milk. They were 80, 65 cents a pack. Two packs of the pepperoni. They were $2.19 a pack, I believe. I'll have to go back and double check. I got two packs of the bacon. Um, this is the only thing that's gone up. At the store that I've seen, um, it used to be $3.49, it's $3.99, so it basically went up 50 cents a pack. Not bad. I'm quite sure it's going to go up more. Lord willing, it won't, but we'll just wait and see. As of right now, these are basically $4, and this isn't the 12 ounce. This is the 16 ounce. This is a full pound. I thought that was good. Um, I got some more stuff because I ran out of the ingredients I need for my pizza sauce because my tomatoes are coming in like crazy. I got the extra. This one right here was $3.69 for this olive oil, and this one was $2.69. This is what I used last time. I wanted to try the, I guess, the cheaper brand to see if the taste difference. I don't think there'll be much, but that was $2.29 for 16 ounces, and this one was $3.69 for 16 ounces. I picked up their organic um, oregano leaves, totally out of oregano, except I've got plenty of fresh, but I needed this for the sauce. This was $1.95. Picked up some more parsley. This was $0.95. Cents. Um, I picked up one of these salads. Anna, and only in my dreams, she's always hauling these things. And I saw one today, and I'm like, oh, my word, that looks so good, and I'm hungry. So I picked up one of these. This was like a treat for me because it's cheaper to do it yourself. That's just it. But she's always hauling them, and they look so good. Anyway, this was, oh, $2.65. That's not bad. $2.65 is good. Um, I got a thing of large ketchup. Um, this was a replacement item. This was $0.95. Cents. The two pounds of peanut butter, this was another replacement item. It was $2.29. I got a big pack of the chips. Those were $1.50. And these corn chips, which is really good. If you put them in that dip, they were $0.69. Cents. I got some orange juice. It was $1.89. $1 I picked up, this is another replacement because I used it the other day, some more Italian sausage. It was $2.39. Grapes. I got two big bags. Um, they were 99 cents a pound. Two loaves of bread. The loaves of bread were um, 65 cents for a loaf. I forgot my onions at Aldi, so I had to run into the store that's closest to my home, the pig. Um, these were $2.69. It was probably, actually, it's probably about the same price, except I wanted the Vidalia. These are the regular ones. $2.69. For this pound, um, all these onions. Like I said, the onions, the oil and stuff, I need that for my pizza sauce. I picked up their storage bags, 40 count. They were a dollar, oh, I want to say, 
89 59 I'm not sure, not bad. I picked up the 50 plates. They're brand bold. They're like the hefty. They were $1.29. Um, I've never seen these there before, but I love sweet potato fries. I don't get them often because they're so expensive. They were $2.65 a pack, so I picked up two of those to go with hamburgers. I picked up the lettuce for $1.50. This was from the pig as well, and I also picked up from the Piggly Wiggly these dumplings right here. Um, they were $1.65. They used to be two something at Piggly Wiggly, but they had them uh, marked down to $1.69. I was actually expecting to pay more. Um, that next thing I got, yeah, I got this. I went back and I got me some, some Hershey milk chocolate because I'm particularly emotional today, and chocolate helps when we get that way. At least it helps me. So I picked up some chocolate. And the last but not least, I picked up 24 cans of the tomato paste because I used this to thicken up my um, pizza sauce. Yeah, um, and these were 41 cents a can, which is really good. Um, it's cheaper than Walmart. And I was able to get a whole flat. Y'all remember this time last year we couldn't get a whole flat? Yeah, so let me go ahead and show you, like I said, the price for everything. Price for everything was $89. I will go down slowly, let you look at the prices. She messed up on the turkey, had to go back and correct it. The chef's salad was $2.69, I think. I can't even tell. Yeah, but these are the prices in case you just want to look. Yeah, those fries were $2.49. Yeah, so this is the um, everything on here. Um, I thought it was a really good deal for everything I got. Like I said, I really <laughs> I had only gone in there to pick up the tomato paste as well as the olive oil and that but i decided to pick up a few replacements as well and honestly i thought that was a really good deal without using a coupon excellent deal 55 cents a pound for a macaroni yeah it's so one thing about this aldi they're in competition constantly with the walmart food and all these coming out on top lately they really are so anyway guys leave a comment below if you have an aldi tell me some of your prices that you've seen gone up um my stores have been and are fully stocked I keep hearing the word food shortages, people saying that their stores are low. Mine are not. I'm not seeing that issue. I'm in southeastern North Carolina, actually a tourist area. Um, our stores are loaded. Blessed. Thank you, Lord. Um, so just let me know what's going on in your era. Anyway, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Thank you so much for stopping by. God bless.